Hi, I'm sure there are a lot of you who work in collaboration and use Ruby products to collaborate uh, within teams. So there's a need to collaborate better and for that Ruby has brought in a feature in which you can automatically version Creative Cloud files and through Creative Cloud products. If you're using InDesign, Illustrator, Photoshop, et cetera, you can use this feature to automatically version files. And it's a very cool feature because it'll let you put in comments after any changes that you made. And it'll also show the username of the person who has made that change. So in order to do this, what I need to do is initially, I will need to set up a network drive or DAN server. And I want to link that to a Ruby drive. So what I have to do is to set up the DAN server and link that to a Ruby drive. Now, a Ruby drive can sync up with any CMS compliant versus uh, server or through Experience Manager, a Ruby Experience Manager DAM server. I have an Ruby Experience Manager DAM server already set up. I'm going to use that. And the next, as a next step, I'll open my folder in that DAM server through Ruby Bridge. And via that, I'll open the corresponding files that I want to work on. So, for example, <clears throat> I'm working on this. InDesign file, and I open this file. I make some kind of change on this file, anything at all. So probably I create a frame, a small frame, and that's it. It can be a very small change, anything at all. And I'll go to the File menu and click on Check in. As soon as I hit check in, it'll ask me for a comment. So I'll say I have created a new frame on page two and so it can be page three. Click on OK. As soon as I do that, create a cloud. And InDesign will automatically version the file for me. It'll save a new version of the file on the network drive. However, it will not create two files. It will store the metadata so that you can go back to the previous file in case you want, and it will not duplicate the files. So in that sense, it's pretty awesome. And <clears throat> meanwhile, let's do the same trick on Photoshop. So. What I'll do probably on this file is I'll go ahead and make some changes so that uh, it lets me put in comment and you know we'll review other features as well. Similarly, we can do the same thing in Illustrator as well. Okay. Let's go back to Photoshop and do some trick, right? I'm gonna play with curves a little bit. And the next file, check in. So I've already saved 17 versions of this file earlier. And I'll say I've messed the It can be anything. Click on OK. It'll save a new version of the file for me. So it'll upload the file on my network drive and it's a really speedy process. So if your network drive is, you know, it's synchronized properly, you won't have, ever have any issues. It's a very simple process. Open your network drive via Ruby Bridge and open the file. It'll let you put in the comments and it'll automatically store the file number for you. And if you look at the bottom, this is where you can actually see all the versions. So if I go to this arrow and click on show versions, the pop up with a list of versions and the comments, and who's actually made that comment as well. So that's a short link pop up. And this is a pretty interesting feature because I can go ahead and see the latest version as this. This is my username. I'm logged in as an admin, so it's showing admin. If uh, you log in as your name or anything, it'll show your name here. And I can actually see all the versions here. If I want to see any previous version, I can just click on this version and open the previous version. So this lets me control everything that's going on when I'm collaborating, when there are like 10 people working on the same file. 
let's make a lot bit better, let's me track who's made what change, and overall gives you more control over my file. Same steps can be replicated on Illustrator as well and InDesign. So overall, it's a pretty simple process and uh, it's a pretty useful one. I hope that this will help you. Have a good day.